as usual. I'll start the day with a bit of trolling. This being a schooling fish, red fin, aren't always in the same spot they were. You saw them 24 hours earlier or even 12 hours earlier. And they tend to get around and follow the bait fish or whatever they're feeding on at the time. So uh, this is always a good way to locate them. And there's one. <laughs> Not very big, but he's a fish. Front red fin, Roscoe? Yes. Took the teaser, Jamie. Yes. So, uh, good start. Quick. The fish. Makes me know there's a few, few around, but he can go back. Well, that was about 25 seconds, I think. I think it might have been less than that, Ross. Yeah, well, I don't think it had, uh, had a chance to dive to its proper depth. No, probably so, uh, I found that. There's been a few mid-water fish. Yeah. It's nothing, they're not all always right on the water. Jamie's on, I just got another touch then, Jamie. Oh, he's a tiny one. Monster, monster fish. You keep getting these junior burgers, mate. The only thing we've sometimes found Especially with trolling, and the same with trout, that for, for whatever reason you get fish in one direction but you don't get them in another. And we've never been able to work that one out, but uh, certainly up at Dartmouth we've found there's been times when one direction kills them and the other direction they couldn't care less. And redfin are sometimes the same. We did a run on this bank before and caught, I think, five fish. We just went back over that same bit of water. Jamie had one uh, dragging along, drowning itself, and that was it. I mean, we got some hits. We could feel some hits on the way, but they didn't hook up. But... So we'll give it one more run along here. If nothing happens, we'll go and search somewhere else. That's the way you've got to do it with red pen. Keep going, keep looking until you find them, and then cash in. Looks like we found a little patch here, so we'll probably have to go over it a couple of times to make sure but we just hooked three fish then on one pass so what we've got here is some dirty water probably due to the uh wind. wave and wind action through the day but it is often an attractant for redfin and it's a good idea to troll along the edge of it or even slightly into it all right we expect to get a fish very very soon then All right, there's one. Yep. Yep. Fish on. Yeah, just a matter of trying to hold it. So this is how we do it, folks. So we'll probably anchor up. He's not a bad fish. Mine's better. Yours is better. Oh, did you drop one? I did. Hold those up together. They're pretty... I'm not sure whether I've got that in camera or not, but anyway. Blade action. I think so. I think that's all that will require from now on. Let's see if I can. Yeah, there we go. They're fish of between 27 and 28. Okay, so off with the trolled lures. On with the blade. Teaser stays on there. It's a pretty easy method. Alternatively, you can have a dedicated rod for this, but the same setup works for both. Blades on, and uh, ready to drop it into them. Initially, I'll just drop over the side, 
later on we might have to cast a bit. It's change colour, I've got a feeling that. Look at them. Yeah. That red and uh, yellow ain't doing it. That one's a bit of a warrior. Oh yeah, she's been <laughs> through the tree. Through the trenches. Yes. That's a good fish. That's all right, Roscoe. Yes, you'll make a couple yeah. of very nice fillets. Right, we've got a bit of a bucket load here. Again, not huge fish, but uh, some reasonable quality red fin among the size. But they're all much the same size. We're throwing a lot of fish back today. And there's a few feeds amongst them. Wind's dropped right away now. And it's nearly seven o'clock, so we'll see how we go. We did pull up here because we caught some good fish on the troll, but uh, it's been at best spasmodic since we've been here. Jamie's got a couple of better fish on just by having a sleeper rod with some prawns out. But the blades, which normally work well, are only getting a fish every third or fourth cast at the moment, maybe maybe less. So uh, we'll just see how we go. Give it another five minutes, I reckon, Jamie, then we might do a quick troll somewhere else. Yep. Wouldn't mind the battery's getting to a point where it's just about done. Nice right. little ready. Yeah. He's bleeding badly. Up in the gills. Yeah, okay. No, that's why there's blood everywhere. Okay, double header. When you get two redfin that size on, your hopes come up. They get a little bit higher, Jamie. But, uh, and you say, please be one, please be please one. Be one please yes. be one, yes. Uh, we actually cast over there near the bank, or between us and the bank, there was some small redfin busting up near the surface. So that's why I cast there. And uh, both of those grabbed that within a second or so of it hitting the water. So, uh, yeah. Neither is a keeper, is a keeper though, they're both going back. There you go, Roscoe. Go back, Let's have a look. It's a nice fish. Yeah. You'd be up around the 32, 33 centimetre mark, no doubt. Yeah, look, anything that size, you've got to be pretty happy with, really. Oh, absolutely. Uh, he wasn't getting off. Mate. No, no, he didn't need the net. I did offer. Ouch. Yeah, soft fingers. Cord to eight in the evening. The wind has dropped completely. So we're doing a little bit of trolling, as Jamie said just before we started recording this. It's the ideal time of night to uh, pick up a yellow or even a cod on the troll around here. If you look at that bank over there, and the amount of structure on it, it is classic cod and yellow belly water, this. And we have caught some cod and yellow belly in this area in the past. So uh, I was nearly up our state, folks, and um, we got 15 or 16 keepers in the boat today. We're finishing off over a school of small redfin that are busting up near the surface. Jamie's just pulled another one in there. None of them are keepers at this stage, but they're good fun. So uh, the wind's dropped away. We're just drifting at the moment over the top of them in... Uh, Around about 20 to 24 foot of water. So uh, that's been it. Thanks for watching. This has been Fish Talk Video, and hopefully, we'll see you in our next one. And if you like what you see, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button, that's Roscoe. That's true, yes, yes. I keep saying it, and I start to forget now. <laughs>